All right, today's lesson is using inverse operations to solve algebraic equations. Our objective by the end of class, hopefully every one of you knows how to solve an algebraic equation involving subtraction by using inverse operations and checking the solution. Moving on to the next page. Here's an example of a story problem. Yesterday, I decided that I wanted to purchase a camera for my spring break fishing trip. I had a coupon for $12 off the original price of the camera C. After the discount, the camera was $43. What was the original price? The first thing I need to ask myself is what is the important information? So if I go back through the problem, I have $12 off and that's off of the original price of the camera C. So there's my variable. After the discount, discount is also something that would suggest I'm getting smaller uh, a smaller amount. The camera was $43. What was the original price? Now, when I look carefully at $12 off, this would suggest that I'm going to subtract. And I'm going to subtract 12 from the original price of the camera, which we said was C. So I want C minus $12. And that's going to give me my new price of $43. Now, since we have our algebraic equation, we can move on to using inverse operations, which is part of our objective for today. All right? I want to get my variable by itself. I want it to be completely alone so I can find out what it's equal to. So the first thing I do is look at whatever is attached to or on the same side of the equal sign as my variable. And here I can see minus 12. Minus 12. I need to get rid of that or undo it so I can get C all by itself again. So the inverse operation of subtraction is what? Addition. That is correct. But I need to know an exact amount to add. How will I undo subtracting 12? Adding 12, that is correct. So I'm going to do that. See, minus 12. I'm writing the same expression, but now I'm going to add 12. But I must add 12 on both sides of the equation. This is called the addition property of equality. Because I want to keep, since this is an equation with an equal sign, I want to keep both sides equal or equivalent. So I add 12 to not just one side, but both sides to keep it balanced. Now, anytime we have a number and it's opposite, like we do here, we know that this is equal to zero. Because they make like a big zero pair. And my C will come down. Bring down the equal sign. And when I solve the other side, 43 plus 12 equals 55. Now, what property allows me to go from this step to here? Does anybody know? That is correct. The identity property of addition. So I am going to say that C is equal to 55. Now I need to check my answer. So I'm going to go back to my original formula. C minus 12 equals 43. In order to check the answer, I want to plug my solution, 55, in for C. And when I do this, I can write the problem off to the side, 55 minus 12. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 4. And I get 43 is equal to 
this other side. So it does work. And that's how I solve using inverse operations.